I look over, I'm like, listen. Thank you. The other reason why <laughs> my hands are moving right now. That's awesome. Chip and I went back and forth. When we saw a video, you guys smiled the other day. We kicked him in the face. That went viral. <laughs> And he did say he will get you back, so I can't wait for the rebuttal video on that one. Yeah, man. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, Chip, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know what? I think Chip and I are in round 3,000. Take Rocky and Apollo. Round 3,000. <laughs> he wins rounds, I win rounds. We, we kick each other's butt every single time. That's awesome. I'll tell you what, though. I'm happy I got Chip in my corner. Absolutely. And he's in Jen's corner today. Clearing, and here we go. But round one's about to start. Referee Brian Miner brings these ladies to the center of the ring, and we're on. Now, Jen's, uh, Jen's opponent might be 42 years old, but just because she's up there in age does not mean she's not able to hold her own. I agree. Not able to win, not conditioned. I agree. 42 years old is like the new 30 nowadays. <laughs> Especially if There's a lot of people you're going to make happy online now. That's hey, sure. Shout out to everyone that's in their 40s, still conditioned. <laughs> still doing it. If you're not conditioned and you're in your 40s, get, get your butt to the gym and start working. I agree. Because you're about to see a 40 year old woman kick some ass. Again, doing a good job landing those body kicks through. Big drop there. She gets the knockdown early in the fight. One thing about being offensive, there are holes. So with that kick that she threw, Jen was able to land the low kick, which caught the smart. She fell down. I agree. Both fighters very active in the clinch here, crew. Doing a good job. This is a very active fight. Big, big sweep. Big sweep. Nice sweep. Knee caught the hamstring. She fell down. Nice teeth there, though, from Melanie. Both girls are really active here. Cool. A lot of momentum on both sides. A lot of momentum. That's where the slips are coming on. They're catching each other when the other one overcommits. That's the lovely thing about sleeping in Muay Thai. Absolutely. It definitely, you get a guy or girl coming in committed, you can get that sweep fairly easy on it. Oh, yeah. that nice kicks there from Jen. And again, those low kicks out up, crew. Oh, nice counterpunch. But I tell you, Maddie comes back with her own. Both girls are pouring on round one early. Oh, yeah. At least in no time, crew. No time wasted at all. And the thing is, this is two minutes. That's all you've got. Absolutely. Two minutes amateur. Very exciting two minutes for the fans here. Oh, yeah. You get a lot when you watch amateur fights. You get a lot out of amateur fights. Absolutely, and again, both amateurs looking for their first signature victory in their amateur career. Now, what I'm seeing right now is a lot of what a lot of you may not see. There is a mental detachment right now going on. Yep. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's happening on the red corner. Yep, yep, yep. And that's the end of the round, ladies and gentlemen. Good round. Both girls are really active. So we're gonna help our corner gets back in there. So right now, like, this is going this is a lot. You cannot fight. Even though we're like, you're overwhelmed in the fight. In the ugliest place to say, no, I'm not going to allow this. I'm going to get back. I'm going to take control. Absolutely. You have to make the fight all about you. You have to make it all 100%. I agree. I agree. I agree. There were times where I was trying to get hit with a shot and I'm like, no. I got a little more I'm like, no, you're going to have to quit me. I tell myself all the time, a lot of my losses were make cut, making crazy decisions, and just not having the mental fortitude to realize that I can beat the person in front of me. I, so um, I'm great with having this conversation. I don't know any fighter that enjoys weight cut. No problem. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. That's why I moved up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good move. Yeah. I want to fight at 170. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm everyone's good. a six-footer. <laughs> everyone's a 200-pounder. Yep. That's too much stuff on me. I can't even make 200 pounds. No, no, I agree. A lot of talk about group. And here we are, round two, though. Both ladies come out firing. The guys in your gym's corner, City of Tongue, yelling her in and out. In and out when they're good advice. Oh, nice counter shot. Jen has good counter strikes. I agree. She has to commit to them. Commit to the counter strike and she does damage. Now, 
Now both fighters are playing a different game. They are. One is walking down and the other one is tired. Yeah. One thing I like about the fighters that move around or move back is people like to see. Some fighters they use that to create space. What Jen is doing is creating space. Yeah, she's not running. She's, she's not creating, retreating. Yeah, she's agreed. creating space. Agreed. The other one is walking down. I agree. And so that's you good. have you have the counter fighter and you have the aggressor. Yep. Two different styles. And you see, if Jen was moving back, running away, she wouldn't engage when she the opportunity to engage. Agreed. She would just block all day. Yep, I she's agree. She's not blocking. She's fighting. When she's fighting her game, she's spacing. Great observation, too. I, and I have to agree with that. And she's, she seems really comfortable there while yeah, she's creating exactly. that Exactly. Because now she's playing her game. Yep. She's in control of her game. Yo, yo, yo. The blue corner, she's moving in. Big body kicks she in. Closes, the distance. She's trying to close the distance and try to do her damage there. She's not particularly chasing, because there is a difference between chasing and walking the 100, punch and down. 100%, I agree. If she was chasing, she would she would run into Jack. Yep. It would be Try to close that distance, run with the game in yep. We're not a fan, I see that song, we're not a fan of the whole chasing method. Because it's reckless abandoned. Yep, yep. She's walking her, uh, her opponent down. I agree. Closing that distance, being smart about her shots, picking her shots, taking her shots. What a round! Crew, I think, you know, this is a technical one. Very technical. To the first round one. Uh, both girls came out round one slugging. This one, I think they listened to their quarters and said, let me, let me do a better job here. The first round, they fought as if there was a local of bread in the middle of the ring. So powerful. It's all about the bread, crew. It's all about the bread. The second round, they were like, oh yeah, we're doing Muay Thai. Oh, oh yeah. We're doing Muay Thai. <laughs> Let's see what the third round's going to play. I agree. So, I mean, on the scorecards, I think it's, uh, it's pretty close. Uh, both girls have done really well. What would you say is the So right now, I got, I personally, I am Jen up 2-0. Uh, but again, I, I think it could go 1-1 right now. I think it's going to be a 1-1. I give, I give, uh, I give them one apiece. One apiece. I think Blue Corner won the first round. And, and Red, Red, Red took control. Yeah. yeah. And judging's tricky, as we know. There's a lot of different things everyone looks for, you know, so it's good to see. Always got to remember, in Muay Thai, Punches are the lowest of the score. Absolutely. Now this is any trick, this isn't pro, so kicking is the highest of the yep. score. Yep. Usually there's elbows, but that is not allowed here. Uh, allowed That's just really yep. and, and, and one thing I like about these amateurs, they do not have headgear. Yeah, that's great. They need to learn to get over that and, and get rid of that fear. But see, this is the thing about headgear. And I'm gonna and I'm actually gonna expose the science. The headgear. Headgear just protects I agree. It does not particularly head protect trauma. you exactly not at all. Because it makes it worse. Shot, your head still bounces around in your cranium. It still agree. bounces around there. So you can hit with a good shot with headgear, you still can get knocked out. Absolutely. And I, and I agree. I think headgear is a lot worse because you get harder. But you get tunnel vision to hurt your vision. You get vision yeah. Yeah. Great that no bonds. He's done a great job with the commission. He got rid of that rule. I don't like the headgear where it blocks my peripheral. I agree. Yeah, those are the shots that might hit you. Absolutely. 100% agree. And you overheat inside a headgear. Oh, yeah. I've had, I've had a ton of partners, even myself, where we spar, and the guy just says, screw this, just throws his headgear off. Yep. 100%. Because they're getting so hot. And the heat's not going in there. Yep. All that. Ooh, oh, well, I was going to say, both girls here, man, they're putting them on. The little punching like a titan. <laughs> so, again, it's been a very good round. You can see both girls stay in front of each other this round, crew, and really just pour on. Um, this one is definitely. One more time. Shout out to the women. They, 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 they go down. That's over 40. Absolutely. In their 40. It's because awesome. There you see a 40 year old woman holding her ground. Holding her ground, well conditioned. Yep. Fighting her fight. Both fighters are fighting their fight. I guess a very tough opponent, too. It's no easy fight. This, this is a good fight. The reason why I like this fight is because every round it was different. I agree. You, you got to really good. You fought technicality and you fought style. 100%. Wow. And that's it, crew. What a great round three. Yeah. I'm really interested to see where the judges go with this one. It's going to be a tough one. Very competitive fight. Um, great fight for both of the amateur uh, You know what? I had the blue corner with the first round. 
competitions um, in Rhode Island April 27th so myself and no boundary that's your thing man so we're trying to grow the kids division you know? we're getting there one step at a time you know we want the sport of Muay Thai to grow and it's really important we're, I we're think no boundary is doing a really good job um, with the local team split decision I agree I, I definitely agree